Hi guys, it is me, Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. For today's video, I have my long-awaited book on haul. So if you did not check out my last video, that was actually a book haul. So I just recently brought a few books into my collection, and now I'm actually getting more out of my collection. So for today's video, I'm going to break down the books and why I just simply don't need them in my collection anymore. Do you want to say this very quickly? I said this in previous unhaul videos before and I'll have a whole playlist of any unhauls I've done in the past down below in the description box. I one will be breaking this down between books I have read and have not read and just give you really kind of in-depth almost reviews on why I will be not keeping these books. Also I just want to say just because I am obviously giving away these books it doesn't mean anything against these authors, it doesn't mean anything against these publication companies, and it also doesn't mean just because you watching this video loves some of the books I am giving away, that doesn't mean anything against you. It's just for me and my own personal collection, I really just want to narrow it down and have the books that I love or books that I'm genuinely interested in reading in my collection, and I really don't have room for any of these, like, maybe one day, and I feel like I am always consistently pushing that back. I'm always like, maybe 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 and I really do need to like make decisions for myself which if you don't know I'm a Libra and that is so hard for us to do sometimes I am always like well what if one day I want to try it like I am always that person moving forward I do plan on having a few more on hauls once I start reading through the collection I have and hopefully going through books that I do like and don't like I'm very excited to kind of get rid of these books I feel like this will be a huge weight off my shoulders we will talk about first the books that I have read and I will be getting rid of first. So the first book I have is The Crowd and this is from Elise Baltz. Now this is not me not liking this book. I actually really enjoyed this book. I gave it a four to five stars. I think I read this almost four years ago and I really liked it. It's a YA contemporary book. We follow our main protagonist who is like musically inclined. She goes to this new high school and things kind of like pop off but it really is about her trying to fit into a space where she is very much unwelcomed. So I really did enjoy this one. I even have the sequel, but while I'm getting rid of this is because this is actually the second copy I have of the first book. I have two copies somehow of The Crowd and then I have the sequel, The Journey. I have found I have a lot of two copies of books. I think I've talked about this. I did talk about this in yesterday's video, my book haul, but I am planning on bringing back a video concept. So I will be having sort of other books that I will be either getting rid of or not getting rid of and that's dependent on if I like it or not like it and that's because I have either a physical copy or an ARC copy. So I have like multiple copies of different books and I don't really need that. So I wanna kind of do like a to keep or not to keep on those. The next book I have is one that really doesn't need that much of an introduction. This is Girl Online from Zoe Sugg. It's why a contemporary book, it came out a couple years ago. I read it, I didn't love it. I really didn't love it. And this was before like any hate on her or whatever. Just the book itself, I didn't really think it was that good, especially for why a contemporary when I was obsessed with YA contemporaries at a time, this was definitely not up there with some of like my all-time favorites. And I found specifically with YA contemporaries, it's so hard, but the mindset specifically, and I feel like certain age ranges when it comes to reading, I am starting to fall off of. I really just cannot go through certain middle grade books, I can't go through certain children's book, or I can't really go through certain young adult books because I feel like the mindset is just written so explicitly young that it's almost hard for me to really get through and have an enjoyable experience when I'm reading the book. And I find a lot of why contemporaries I do want to go through and see which ones I want to keep and what I want to don't keep. Just because some of these books I find are very redundant. I feel like almost why contemporaries, there are very few that stand out to me while there there are so many other fantasy books that can stand out to me because, you know, different elements can be involved. But why contemporaries? I feel like you have to have the characters on point, you have to have the writing on point, you have to have the plot on point. And I feel like that's very hard to find a really good one. And I honestly don't even think it's just YA. I think it's just contemporaries in general. But I'm starting to find specifically with YA, the mindset and the actual, like, voice itself through the characters I am reading, I 
kind of can't stand because they're a little too young for me. So this is definitely in that case. I found her to be a very young voice as well, but also I just didn't really enjoy this romance. The next book I have is called Five to One, and this is from Holly Bodger. It's a YA science fiction dystopian. Um, we are definitely in the future for this one, I believe like 2050, and in this we actually follow a world in which our society is featured for every one female, there are five boys. So that's why it's called five to one. It's an assortment of poems, kind of free verse poems. And I do and have been slowly kind of getting into poetry. And I think this is a very different one. And also because it's also signed, it's really cool. But I have read it once and I also have an ebook of it because I read half of it on the ebook and I don't find I need to have the physical copy. So I'd rather give it away to someone that I really feel like would actually enjoy it. So I will be also passing this along. So of course, of course my camera battery had to be rude and die on me, but I believe this is where we left off. If not, I'm so sorry. I next have The Absentee, which is from Maria Edgeworth. I did pick this up when I had to read it for one of my classes this time last year, so an entire year ago. And I found this to be borderline boring, borderline something that had me like what's the point almost. I understood for the context of the class, you know, this was a class that we were focused on the setting and this is a setting that is, you know, duo. We see Ireland and we see England as the absentee refers to Ireland citizens that would actually hold up stake in England and absentee their lots in Ireland and then there was a whole sort of situation where people ended up not getting the money they needed or they wouldn't really, um, get the money back when it kind of transferred back to like Ireland and all that stuff. So it was a whole sort of point in history where absentees were a huge part and the Irish um, citizens were really heavily sort of stereotyped compared to England citizens. Um, so that's kind of what is featured in this book. It's not something I need in my life. Also this is one of the worst book formats I've ever seen. Who reads in that tiny of a font? Who does it? That's crazy to me. And then the final book I have read that I will be giving away is Little Black Dresses, Little White Lies. And this is from Lara Stampler. And I read this years ago. I also have a review actually on my channel for this book. And this is one of those books that yet again is a super young voice. I believe she's actually kind of older new or young adult, excuse me. She's like older in age for the young adult sort of age range. But I still found that her voice was incredibly young to Something that, you know, I read it once and I actually did like it. I don't need this in my life because I probably won't reread it. And I'd rather give it to someone else that probably will like this more and will reread it while I would just have it on my shelf and not read it. So those are actually the books that I have read and that I'm getting rid of because I don't need them in my collection anymore. Now let's get on to the books that I have not read and I'm going to first start with a category of books that yes I have not read but at one time I did want to read and now that I'm older I just feel like I'm kind of out of the age range and for some of these I've even sort of like DNF'd so I'm going to start off with the DNF and then move on to the ones that I just feel like I'm a little bit too old for almost. So the next book I have is How to Disappear and this is from Anne Sampler which I believe is like the cousin of Laura Stan I know they're somehow related, I just forget how. And my brother sent both of these by the publication company to read and review. And I had obviously read and reviewed this one. So a few months later, I moved on to reading and reviewing this because they were sent to me at the same time. And I attempted to read this, and this is one of those books where our main character obviously is trying to disappear. She's on the run. Um, we have kind of like a bounty hunter coming after her, and um, a lot of twists and turns. I found it to be one, boring, two, predictable, and three, I did not enjoy the characters. I think I got like 150 into this book. Like I got a decent amount way that I felt that it was okay for me to still stop and I didn't need to move forward. Like I was at a point of return where I could return. I'm just going to pass it along. I'm not really interested in even trying to reread it, let alone keeping it on my shelves. The next book I have is Things We Know by Heart and this is from Jesse Kirby. And this was one of those books that I was debating for so long whether or not I should give this away and I finally decided I should 
and let me explain myself. In this book, we follow our main protagonist, Quinn, as her ex-boyfriend just recently passed away. And at this point in the story, she's actually going and contacting the recipients of his organs. And the only person that has not responded is the person that actually received his heart. So she kind of goes on this almost mission, I believe, to get a sort of connection from this person and reach out to them. It kind of develops into something more, I believe. Um, this is a YA contemporary romance. Like, I really did want to read this at one point. I was actually convinced to pick this up by someone I was super close with. But we went to Barnes & Nobles together and I remember I convinced her to pick up Throne of Glass and she convinced me to pick up this book. And I had tried getting into it a couple of different times and I'm sorry my phone is blowing up via snap. But I tried getting into this book a couple times and I just felt... Yet again, that it was just a little too young for me. So I think this is one of those stories that if I do want to pick up, I'd rather pick up an ebook of instead of just having the physical copy lying around. Unfortunately, this is one of those ones that kind of hurt me a little bit. Even though I haven't read it, it's just like one of those things where I have a little bit of like a story behind it. So I feel the guilt with giving it away. The next two books I have are two that I have not read. So these are ones yet again where I do feel like I'm a little bit older, but in this case, I have actually wanted to read both of these for a really long time. These have actually survived multiple book unhauls and I have not unhauled them. I am now officially unhauling them because I keep staring at them and being like, I will read it one day, I will read it one day. And I have yet to read either of these, even though yet again, they have survived multiple book unhauls. So at this point in time, I just do need to pass these along and if I really do want to read them, I will of course pick up an ebook version. I really don't mind doing that. I just can't afford just keeping these on my shelf for that one day that I might read them and I end up not liking them. So I know it's kind of hard because usually I am that kind of person that's like maybe, 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 but I'm trying to be very ruthless with my decision making when it comes to the books I'm keeping and not keeping and these are ones that did not make the list to keep. And then the next book I have is Breathe Annie Breathe and it's from Miranda Kennelly. I have read one of her books which is Catching Jordan. That is an especially like young mindset now for me. Um, when I first read it, it was before I even went into high school and then I think I reread it in high school and I found it to still be like cute and fluffy. Um, this is not something that I find I wouldn't enjoy. I actually think this is one of those contemporaries I would enjoy, but yet again, I just need to get an ebook version of it. I keep looking at it like, I'll read it, I'll read it, I'll read it, and I never do, and I cannot afford to have it on my shelf anymore. Like, I really can, especially because I have read one of her stories already, and that specific story, I felt like the voice for me currently now, if I were to read that, I would not enjoy it because I, I would think now it's too young for me. I'm kind of worrisome that I'll think the voice in this is also young because I feel like she does write a lot of like young adult high school romances. So there's nothing wrong with that. I just want everyone to know I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying right now my reading taste is definitely evolved and the age ranges that I can kind of read through their perspectives of has changed dramatically. So we have now gotten to the books where I just simply know one way or another I will one, not read it, or two, just don't need it in a physical copy. So I'm just gonna go through what these books are about, why I'm getting rid of them, and yeah, none of these I read. Some of these I really wanted to read, but I would just rather pass it along. That's like my whole theme. It is not that I am hating on these, it is just simply I cannot you know, shelf the space for you anymore. So to start that off, we have two books and these are from Shani Galen. So the first one is Third Sons A Charm. <laughs> and the second one is No Earls Allowed. I'm sorry, Third Sons A Charm. Maybe I should keep this just to see what that's about. Is she really going through like two sons and now marrying a third? I'm not gonna judge these books too hard. I know the cover is like, they have those covers that you just can't help but kind of judge a little bit. 
regardless, why I'm getting rid of these, these are adult um, romance novels. I do love romance. I like adult books. There's nothing wrong with that. I just personally know I'm not going to read these. I'm not going to read these versions. I'm not. Um, I'm not going to read stories like this. I don't really like these sort of romance novels. It's not my particular thing, but I do actually have some people in mind that would love these. And these are actually really cool because um, this one specifically is noted by the author. So there's actually like kind of bo bonus content, excuse me, in the book. So I feel like this is a perfect experience for someone that would like something like this, but that is not me. So I will be getting rid of these. Next we have Cicada and this is from Belle Whittington. So whoever gets this one, I'm referring to my friends or whoever ends up getting this. Um, this is also signed and the bookmark is also signed. So this was one that I also won in a giveaway and I read the synopsis. I just don't need this in my collection. Um, this is a YA. I think it's more like paranormal. It kind of sounds paranormal from the description. Our main character's like true love turns into something non-human and her and her friends have to essentially keep a secret in order to help him but also in order to like help other people. I don't really know. Um, it's not something I feel like I need to read. It is a quick read so if I really wanted to I could but I've had this for years and years and years. I just pass it along. Just pass it along. This is called Lark Rising and this is from Sandra Way and this is Guardians of Tarnak. It says life, death, dark, light. One guardian for each to fight the coming chaos. In a castle in the hills of Tarnik lie the four amulets of balance. When enemies steal the amulets, four guardians must be awakened to seek them out and return them. Lark, the guardian of life, is the first to be summoned. So this is like a series. I don't feel a need for it and that sounds really bad. I also have bookmarks in this one. That's fun. I remember I also won this. I, I think a part of that same like package that I'm getting rid of all of these and this is also signed so there's nothing wrong with these and I know a lot of people are probably going to hate me for getting rid of these. The next book I have is one that I just feel like someone else would gain more from. So this is called Saints and Misfits and this is from SK Ali and this is one that I got from my bookly box page habit I'm so sorry I got this from page habit a couple years back I have a letter from the author and I have notes um, with like bonus content from the author as well as in here so I know whoever I give this to will have a great reading experience because both of those things I feel like just adds to the experience of the story but I just found this to be when I read the synopsis and when I read reviews like this was just not something that really grabbed my attention that I need to keep to read the next book I have is library of fates and this is a funny one for me just because years ago actually like two years ago maybe only a year ago I gave one of these away because I had like two versions of it two copies of it and I was like I'm so excited to read this still like I'll give one away and I'll keep this one I've never gotten around to this book I read some reviews for this book I try not to I really do but when it comes to kind of figuring out if I want to keep a book or not I do read reviews that's when it really comes in handy and I read a lot of reviews and a lot of people felt very meh about this book they were expecting a lot more from it they were expecting a lot more from the writing and it was one of those books that a lot of people did regret overall picking up and reading so I don't want to say I never want to read this book but I don't feel like I need to own the physical copy so I will be getting rid of this. Moving along we have Cruelty and this is from Scott Bergstrom. I think that's how you pronounce this last name. As you can see I always struggle with last names but in this book we essentially follow our main female protagonist as her father gets kidnapped. So in order to gain her father back she has to kind of listen to the kidnapper's request and fulfill them. So essentially she's like a badass. It's kind of giving me a little bit of like Taken vibes. This is not something I feel like I need especially after reading the reviews. So at first I was actually super into this book. Also this cover like the line work and the intricacy of it just is so cool. I was just super into just the overall aesthetic, the summary sounded good. I read a lot of reviews and a lot of people just felt like this was very boring. There wasn't any sort of element of like surprise or suspense that you almost need in something like a thriller. Speaking of thrillers, the next book I have I believe is like a psychological horror thriller. This is called The Dark Beneath the Ice and this is from Amelia Linda. Um, Berube. This says something is waiting to pull you under. Essentially we follow a dancer and I believe a tragedy happens to her and then she starts seeing things in um, mirrors, seeing things kind of like spelled out in um, the steam after a shower, stuff like that. So 
I think it kind of gets into that whole ghost element of surprise. I don't really know exactly what happens, did read some reviews yet again, and a lot of people said this did fall flat. They were expecting a lot more suspense and thrill in there, and yet again I feel like thrillers are one of those books that are super hard to hit the nail on. I have read a few. I don't read as many as other genres. I don't love thrillers because I tend to find that they can have that very like fine line between it invokes an element of suspense or it doesn't evoke that element of suspense. So I find thriller books to be one of those genres that I don't dive in ultimately too much just because it's hard to impress me when it comes to that. Next we have Love and Other Unknown Variables and this is from Shannon Lee Alexander. This is another YA contemporary book. I was going to put it a part of the other ones that seemed like they were just a little too young for me anymore because this is kind of like that. I feel like this is a little too young for me anymore um, but this is specifically one that I have some other books in my collection currently that I want to read in my maybe pile that I want to read and almost have a very similar concept to this. This is one of those ones that I might keep if I find that those stories I do like and I want to see how this compares but essentially I don't think I should just for that reason. Last but not least we have The Prince Warrior from Priscilla Shearer. So this is number 20 I will be getting rid of. This is actually a middle grade so this is the first middle grade we have talked about. This is the first book a part of a trilogy. It says it has heart-stopping adventure, captivating humor, and intriguing mystery in this action packed adventure. So I have actually read really good reviews but I just don't feel like this is going to be the story for me. I feel like this will yet again be very young for me. Um, I actually in mind had someone to give this to. I have younger cousins. So these are all the books I will be getting rid of today. Thank you guys so much for watching this book on haul. We had some that just fell. That's totally okay. I really needed to do this. I felt like this was yet again just such a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. I feel like this is something a lot of us need to do. Just kind of look at our own collections and see what we need to get rid of. So I'm very happy I got to do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you miss my book haul, I will leave that on the screen as well as down below. As well as a button to subscribe to my channel. Definitely stay subscribed. I have so many videos coming out guys you have no idea i'm so looking forward to creating more content and yeah i'm kind of out of breath so i'm gonna let these books down and i will see you guys later bye